What does the Norwegian Nobel Committee want to achieve by awarding the prize to the Colombian president only? We want to honor him, uh, make a tribute to the very important work he has been doing. Uh, he initiated the peace process. He has been uh, very active and very clear that he wanted the process to move on towards a peace agreement and he very quickly after the referendum results came out said that he invited to a broad national dialogue to go on. Some people will perhaps say that it is ignoring the will of the people when you give the uh, when you award the prize just to the president. No, not at all. I, I do not agree with uh, this. In uh, the announcement text you will see very clearly that this is also a tribute to the Colombian people who have kept up their hope for justice and for peace and reconciliation. It is a tribute to all the parties, national and international, who have participated in this. And last but not least, to the representatives of the victims, who have been participating quite actively in the process. Would it have been easier to, uh, to give a prize to the president and the leaders of the uh, FARC Aurelia if the referendum would have shown a uh, yes? That would be pure speculation for me to, to answer this. It's a hypothetical question, and I don't uh, give you any answer to that. What are the criteria in, the Alf, in Alfred Nobel's will has been most relevant uh, in this decision uh, when you have given the prize or awarding the prize to the president? Well, all the criteria, in fact, have been relevant, and uh, we underline that uh, it has made the foundation for uh, a, a reduction or to do away with uh, the weapons. Uh, we have also seen a ceasefire, and uh, it is important to see that this is, uh, in a way, a movement towards uh, a reconciliation. We are saying, to put it quite correctly, that the groundwork, much of the groundwork has been led for the verifiable disarmament of the guerrilla and an historic process of national fraternity and reconciliation. And this endeavor, we feel, is totally within the criteria of the will and also the spirit of what the have been mo What has been most difficult during the process ending up in today's decision? Well, it's always a long and difficult but very interesting process and it takes many, many months. We follow uh, some candidates very closely. This has not been a more difficult year than other years, but uh, we do everything we can to evaluate and assess the candidates we think are worthy of the prize. This is a controversial decision. That's not for me to say. I think we will hear from the comments whether it's controversial or not. And then I turn to the uh, secretary of the committee. Is this a controversial prize? We hope not. Uh, the committee has stressed very clearly that they hope this will, on the contrary, help to unite the Colombian people and to join forces to reach a final, broadly acceptable agreement. How will you describe the decision made by the committee? It's not my role to uh, describe or comment upon the decision. I think it's a very, very important prize. I just had the chance to talk with President Santos himself on the phone, and he was overwhelmed, and he said immediately that this is very, very, very important for my country and for uh, the continuing peace process.